Hello guys, this is Crazy Traffic Animate, and this is not an animation video, but it's Pokemon, and I make Pokemon videos on this, videos on this channel, so it kind of fits. And I'm going to teach you different ways you can level up your Pokemon. And I have this Pokemon, Technia, which I'm trying to train, and I'm going to show you different ways you can train it. So one way I'm going to teach you is the daycare. In the daycare, you don't actually have to fight Pokemon. That This is kind of a weird place to start, but I don't care. Um, like, if I put a Pokemon in the daycare, um, I want to put Cacnea in there. Um, once you put it in there, uh, it will gain EXP points, but, um, each time you take a step, like that, the Pokemon in the daycare will gain one EXP point. So if you walk around for a long time, your Pokemon will gain lots of EXP points and level up a lot. You can speed this up by biking around, too. That will work. But the main problem with this is that, um, you don't get EVs. If you don't know what EVs are, go watch some videos about them. But I want to tell you that it stands for effort values. And you can catch back your Pokemon. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't. No. Yeah, and, it, and you like, and like each time it levels up, each level costs a hundred dollars. So if your Pokemon didn't level up, it will cost a hundred dollars. If it's leveled up once, and 200, and 300, and so on and so forth. If you can see my Pokemon, it didn't gain any levels, but, um, it did gain some EXP points. Like, why did I, why did I take the EXP share off it? Now I'm going to show you the next option. Victory Road. In Victory Road, there's some high-level Pokemon there, and it's, um, very easy to get there, you just have to fly. I like most of the options, of course. There's lots of high level Pokemon, like Golbats and stuff. But the main problem is that there's no special attacking EVs here. Like, I had this Salamence once, um, who got no special attack EVs. Well, I think it did, but its speed, which is usually worse than its special attack, is better for some reason because of the EVs. And, um, special attack and physical attack split didn't happen in this generation. So you probably need special attack. So if you want special attack EVs, then you probably don't want to go here and train. And there's also Hariyamas, um, that are very bulky. So you probably can't knock it out in one hit, even with a super effective move. And it has Whirlwind, which in battle, the user, um, forces the foe to switch out. But in a wild battle, it just ends the battle entirely. So you waste your precious power points and stuff. And now here's the other option. The interviewers. So the interviewers, um, they moved from different places to place. But three places, like they start out here. Well, let me show you. They start out on, like, Route 112. Here. But you can't see them here because they're, um, in the other two places. And which is, like, near Mauville City and near Fortree City. I'll go show you where one of them is. Well, I'm gonna show you where they would go. So the interviewers, after you beat them there, they come here, um, and they have Exploit and a Magneton. And the, and, um, like all uh, Pokemon battles with trainers, you get money if you beat them. So that's good. Um, and um, after you beat, and one of them has a Magneton, so if you beat that, you get special attack EVs, which is very good. 
And also, um, they have an explode, which gives HP EV. So if you want that, that's nice. I um, mean, the only problem with this is that um, the only problem is that um, you have to move around and stuff. Because like in like training with wild Pokemon, they just appear like every like two seconds. But you gotta like walk around, and then you'll find them. So, if you don't want to walk around and stuff, then you sh you shouldn't do this. So these like appear over around here. And the next option is the Elite Four. The Elite Four have even higher level Pokemon. So if your Pokemon um aren't under leveled, then this should be a very good idea. But the problem, like I said, is that your Pokemon might be under leveled. And you don't want to take on the Elite Four again with like level 40 Pokemon. That's not a good idea. So... You don't want to risk it, because you also have to stay in there and battle all five people. And then you'll lose. And if you lose, then you have to go back here. And then you lose some money and stuff. So it's not the best option. And now for the last option. Is, uh, I forgot what it's called. But I'll show you where it is. I'm going to speed through. And I'll see you there. I ended up just skipping the process of going here because it took a long time and there's lots of wild encounters and I forgot where it was so yeah but here we are there's no Pokemon here I think but oh in here there is I gotta wait for my repel to wear off so I'm gonna go do that Oh good, it did. And there's like, lots of wild encounters here. I'm not sure what the EVs are though. So the only problem with this, is that, um, that it's hard to get here, cause you might forget where it is. And, yeah, it's not easy to get there, cause you can't fly there. And usually when you can't fly somewhere, it's not a good, place to go there so I don't advise going here if you don't if you want to if you don't want to travel there to get through it because even like some places where it can just you don't have to you can't fly there but it's still easy to get to those are fine but like this you gotta like surf and stuff there's lots of wild encounters so yeah you shouldn't really do this if you just want to fly there immediately so yeah, that's my um, tutorial on good options where to train Pokemon, and see you later. Also, sorry if this video wasn't really that good, I'll try to make better videos later. So bye!